Welcome to this 7th episode of the Amiga CD32 review project. Going in alphabetical order, we have arrived at Arabian Nights, a wonderful little platformer come adventure developed and published in 1993 by Chrysalis. Arabian Nights starts off with a beautiful little hand-drawn animation sequence, showing our protagonist Sinbad Jr. working as the chief gardener's assistant helper second class in the gardens outside of a palace, while watching the beautiful Princess Layla on one of the palace balconies. Princess Leela is then kidnapped by a flying demon and our protagonist rushes off to save her, only to be thrown into the dungeons of the palace after being wrongfully accused of being behind the princess's disappearance. This is where you gain control of Sinbad. At its heart, Arabian Nights is a platform game. It sees you controlling Sinbad as he runs, jumps and fights his way through various levels. The platforming is quite good, the controls sufficiently tight and the graphics are pleasant to look at and in true action platformer style there are some really fun boss fights to tackle as well. You soon discover that there's more to the game than platforming though, as you already in the beginning of the first level meet a man who's hanging chained to a wall. In order to free him you need a crank, and the crank turns out to be a snake that you can get from a snake charmer elsewhere in the level, provided that you collect 65 jewels for him first. Typical adventure game fair that has you running around the levels, going on fetch quests, looking for hidden rooms, and so on and so forth. If you like this kind of thing, this is the kind of thing you'll like. The backtracking is luckily made easier by the fact that enemies don't respawn, so once dealt with, they stay dead. Thank God. The game is not all platformer though, sadly. For some reason unknown to me, the developers saw fit to add a shoot 'em up level in the middle of the game, where Sinbad is flying on a magic carpet whilst dodging or shooting flying thugs and what looks to be jumping goats or sheep perhaps. While I do love a good shoot 'em up, this level was simply atrocious and annoyed me to no end because its difficulty got in the way of reaching the next platforming level. Let's take a look at what the reviewers had to say about Arabian Nights back in the day. Amiga Format gave the CD32 version of Arabian Nights 88%. The following quote is from the review of the original version though. Much of the gameplay seems familiar, but as a mixture of different ideas and style, this works really well. There is plenty of atmosphere, built up by the music and effects, which make the game pretty addictive. Amiga Power also awarded it 88%, and they write, the gameplay comes somewhere between Super Mario World and Dizzy, with puzzles set at just the right level of difficulty to not be obvious but not seriously impede your progress. The only bit I don't like is the gratuitous and slightly knob shoot 'em up level in the middle, but it's nowhere near bad enough to ruin the game. CU Amiga gave a 90% score to the CD32 version, and in their review of the original version they write, on the face of it, there doesn't seem to be much to distinguish Arabian Nights from the 1001 other platform romps. Fortunately, there's more to it than first meets the eye. Apart from beating the necessary joystick twitching dangers, playing Arabian Night requires a little brain power, as Chrysalis have had the foresight to include a puzzle element in the game. I really liked Arabian Nights, and this is a game I'll definitely want to revisit sometime, even though I'll have to suffer through that annoying shoot 'em up level. I give this game a 4 out of 5 rating. <laughs>